Avatar 2 quickly became one of the biggest box office hits in history. Proving that there is still a lot of interest in this universe and has returned to stay. It has recently been revealed by James Cameron himself the villain of the next film, Avatar 3, The Seed Bearer. This time it is not about humans who wish to monopolize the planet's resources, but rather a threat from the planet itself. The Fire Navi According to James Cameron, these Navi are called the Ash People. A Navi species that has evolved thanks to the element of fire, which we will see as an antagonistic force in the next film. Perhaps the worst danger ever faced, not only by humans, but also by all the people who dare to stand in front of them. What happens when a Navi species is able to behave just like humans? When fire sweeps away everything in its path and only vengeance remains? Are you ready to know what's hidden in the volcanoes of Pandora? If you want to see everything related to the Avatar universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Oasis Geek. First let's analyze what James Cameron said in the interview. In statements to the French program 20 Minutes, Cameron said how the plot of Avatar 3 will use another element, this time fire, in different cultures than the ones I have already shown. Fire will be represented by the Ash people. I want to reveal the Navi from another angle because at the moment, I have only shown their good side, Cameron said. In the first films, there are examples of very negative humans and examples of very positive Navi people. In Avatar 3, we'll do the opposite. We also explore new universes, while continuing the story of the main characters. I can say that the last parts will be the best. The others were an introduction, a way of setting the table before serving the meal. There are several interesting things in what he mentions. The first thing is that it confirms the theories that in the next movies we will see the Navi who have evolved in different ecosystems. So the existence of the ice and sand Navi cannot be ruled out. But James Cameron tells us that the defining element of these new Navi is fire. He also calls them the Ash People, which could give us a clue as to what color of skin they have. Also, these would be the villains in the new release. Just as the green Navi evolved in the sea, these Navi or Ash people evolved surrounded by fire. There are different ecosystems in Pandora, and one of these are volcanoes. These Navi or Ash people evolved near volcanoes, and possibly developed a more grayish skin, in contrast to the water or forest Navi. These Navi are also aggressive, to the point that James Cameron compares them to the worst humans in the first movie. But why would these Ash Navis be the villains? There is one aspect that even in the Avatar movies has not been worked out, and that is the disagreements between the tribes. Most likely, the Ash people don't agree that there are half Navi humans. We can even see among the water Navi, when they see Jake and his children, they tell them they have demon blood, because their body has human genes. Let's imagine then, that the Ash people are even more radical in their beliefs, and will never accept Jake or any human. This would put them as villains, as their goal would not only be to destroy the humans to keep them away from Pandora, but they would also want to wipe out all the Navi that were somehow contaminated by the humans. This species of Navi will be ruthless, but they will also have a moral motivation to do things, after all, humans have been destroying Pandora for a long time. There is even the possibility that Jake will ask them for help, but they will eventually reveal themselves, and betray the other Navi. Thus, it would show that evil is not only in humans. So what would these Navi be like, and what would their habitat be like? As James Cameron refers to them as ashy people, 
it is most likely that they would be represented by the light gray color, and that they would be adapted to live in high temperatures. They would have animals that are capable of throwing fire, such as something similar to a dragon, and also their tree of souls could be inside a volcano. The Ash people could be a Navi tribe that has evolved in very difficult conditions in Pandora, and this has caused them to have a much stronger character than the rest of the species on the planet. It is possible that this is an isolated tribe, because of their extremist attitude, unwilling to mix with other races and seeking revenge against humans. The Ash people would endanger not only the humans who are in Pandora, but all the people who are against the ideas of this tribe. An interesting point about these Navi, is that their leader could be Vin Diesel, since it was shown that this actor was during the filming of the Avatar movie, and as we know, he has a lot of experience working with green screen suits for roles he played in the past, as was Groot. I don't think Vin Diesel will end up being a RDA military man, as this type of role is not appealing to the actor. Which is why my bet for his character would be the leader of the Ash Navi clan. While there is still much we don't know about this group of Navi, it is possible that Avatar 3 will be dedicated to this species for the most part, and of course hinting that there are other types of Navi, as I have mentioned in the past. Now, these new villains will show that not all Navi are peaceful. In fact quite the opposite, there are evil novice that are willing to destroy and betray, and I believe they will be the ones that will cause Nytiri to be caught by the humans, and be transported to planet Earth, something that has been talked about in other news about Avatar 4. The Ash Navi will be ruthless, and perhaps the humans will have to unite with the other Navi clans to save Pandora, something that would be quite ironic in the story, but that will finally unite the humans with some novice for a common good. But tell me what do you think about the announcement regarding the Ash people as villains in Avatar 3? Why do you think they are so dangerous? Will it be the reason why Nytiri is transported to Earth in Avatar 4? And if you want to know more about your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. This is Awa, for the Oasis Geek.